Okay, I'm back. Done my research. Now I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start investigating what in the heck is going on when I don't get my sound. Maybe I'm ready. I may be ready. Okay, so these are all commands that I found just looking at various um, security related, you know, just to find out, well, what's what exactly is going on in my system? How can I tell if someone's running this route from from my network card over the internet and I don't know it and I can't see anything? Okay, so, but in that, in the result of uh, looking at those commands was that I could see you could, from some of these commands, you can see all the processes that are running, right? And that's what we want. I want to know what's running when I get sound and what isn't running when I don't get sound. Compare the two and see if I can figure out what it is, because obviously Java ain't going to tell me. Java isn't doing a good job. The, the output is, you know, it, it has no errors in their log files and just tells me, we downloaded this pretty picture from pogo.com. We downloaded this sound from pogo.com. Everything's peachy keen. It doesn't, it doesn't at all give any hints that there's no errors in it. I know there's got to be an error somewhere. <laughs> right? <laughs> the sound doesn't react the same as it used to, okay? Okay. So, I'm going to try. First thing I'm going to do is, so but you won't be able to see it because I'm a pig, is I'm going to log, log in as root. down further I would have had on camera what password I typed in I didn't do that okay so here I am as oh god now this thing's angled down so far okay root am I getting it am I getting it? good good okay so I'm logged in as a root now let's just type in the command ps oops don't the caps lock on a u X. What's all this? Well, this tells me everything that's running and um, at all on my system. These are all the things that are running. Here are all the files that are running <coughs> anywhere and whatsoever. Oh, wobbly windows. Gonna make you dizzy. Okay, where am I? I want to move this. I don't want. Okay, I should just try this one more time. Maybe I have to readjust my monitor. I don't have to do that. I don't want to mess with nothing. Okay, so we've got all these programs running right now as we speak, right? So I'm going to want to run this command and find out if there's anything different running. And hopefully it won't just be Java. It's just Java. That's all it's running, Java. Well, I know Java's running. So hopefully I'm going to find something different. So right now with no sound, go also, I'm going to redirect the output of this command to a text file and I'm going to call it without blue bounce right and then I'm going to compare this output with what it looks like when I'm running blue bounce and we'll see if there's any difference and those differences are should be the resulting programs that run when balloon bounce is running make sense why does that tell me that GUVC view is running for 17? Oh, I haven't gone over. I couldn't have gone over yet. Okay, so I'm going to redirect it. So PSAUX, redirect, and I'm going to call this uh, processes without balloon bounce. And for the Microsoft use, I'll put a text there. Okay, so then I'll go up here to home folder. Click on James. I expected to go in there, that's why I paused there for a second. I'm going to sort this by the date modified, that way I can find it easy. And the latest one should be down here. Of course, the the, the film I'm making with um, is obviously older. But since I was root, I can only read this file, but that is quite okay. I will print that. And I'll close this management properties. 
file from the Etcetera Java directory, and I also can see them only 83 megabytes. And if I say that 10 megabytes is about a minute, um, God, I hope I didn't go over. It looks like I might have gone over on my other one. Great, great. Every time I get something good, then I got to go slice it up in Windows because Linux doesn't have a Matroska editor. Even though the guy made it open source software, he just decided not to, or it's, it's unclear. What have you. Okay, so now I'm going to go into Balloon Bounce. I'm going to keep this open, but I'm going to make it smaller and not in my way. And let's go over here to my Pogo game. I expect right now that since my. I don't have a. Why did I do that for? Go for it. Um, don't have it. I don't think I have a .java folder in my home directory. I expect to have sound. There's none. Okay, let's go here to Balloon Bounce, and we'll hear all the wonderful commercials. Bark at us while I go over some of these other. I'll turn this volume down for a second. Hopefully, I won't forget to turn it back up. I think sound isn't working. Okay. What other commands are there? There's something called VM stat space 5 space 10. Don't know what it does. Then there's this thing called PS minus EO, PC, and all this other stuff. I don't know what these things really mean. All I know is that they do something for me. So I decide I'm going to use Let's turn this volume up. Oh, great. No sound. Volume is up, and now I have no sound, and the job is cleared. So that was new in a solution. Great, great. The only thing that I've done that's different, let's go back to my home folder. And I was going to mention this, and I forgot. So see, with open source software, you feel like you're in control of the operating system. There is a .java folder. Now, over here, there's something called system and preferences. There's a Java 6 plug to control panel, and I was dumb enough to merely click on the settings and at one point uncheck that box because I thought that would solve it for me. See? Right? I mean, if I. <coughs> if I'm not saving a cache, it's going to have to download those files every single time, and there's my solution. Every time the game starts, it won't work again. But one thing is clear that happens is that <clears throat> I'll uncheck this, I'll say OK, I'll play it, I'll say OK. Let me just go back here to the control panel and me check on the settings. OK, let's see. Now it held that for now. Now if I go back here and I go to Pogo and I go to Balloon Bounce, which, by the way, should have sound, but doesn't for whatever reason. I don't know now. Now I don't know. And let's make sure my home directory, again, still does not have the .java folder, because that was seemed to be one reason, but maybe that was just a fluke, and there was some kind of voodoo witch hiding in the background, causing my, um, okay, there it is. There's my .java folder, so I don't want that damn thing. Move it to the trash. Goodbye. Let's restart Firefox. Let's make sure it doesn't just magically pop up as soon as I start Firefox now. Go down. Okay, I gotta do this. I hate this about GNOME. They keep making me do that. I just want that on by default. And H I no, there is no dot Java folder. Okay. And let's go back here into the system, the preferences, and the control panel. And let's go over here to settings, and we can see that that is keeping the temporary files on my computer. So Deleting the .java folder seems to reactivate this. Or even just merely going to pogo.com seems to, seems to reactivate this. So, what am I going to do? Now, has it reappeared? Now that this is checked off, let's look. Let's go home. Let's go down. And is it there? View and show the hidden files. I'm getting tired. GHI, yes it is. So just the fact I've gone into the control panel causes this to appear. The next thing I could try to do, now in deployment, I have deployment properties and I have a temp. Now, what I can do, 
see. Okay, one. Of, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking once I <coughs> checking off a box isn't the only way I can stop files <coughs> from ending up in my .java directory. I can delete all the contents of it and I can make it read only. The question is, is Java going to work actually if I do that? <coughs> I say probably not because those files still have to download and go somewhere. Um, so what is it about this folder that I want to maybe a little further in I'm going to want to stop it from or maybe I make this deployment properties read only. But I didn't notice any change between the sound producing deployment properties and the non sound producing deployment properties file. Even though I got the vague idea it was part of the problem. See what I'm getting at here? I'm trying to do something, a simple step that will allow people to enjoy their pogo the way they should. So, uh, okay, go back to pogo and see if I get any sound. Try them again. Well, I'll try stack. I'm going to go to balloon. Yeah, maybe I should pick something else. Eh, that'll skew the results. Doing this scientifically, I'm sticking with balloon bounce. Maybe I should stop here before the suit starts. <coughs> 